Hi folks, it's good to be with you, love to everybody out there. Uh, don't forget uh, my website, jasonburnspreacher.com. Um, my website uh, is a resource um, and uh, it costs about, it costs quite a bit of money to keep going each year. Uh, so please avail yourself of a free website where it gives you lots of resources. Uh, there's a page, if you go on the page and press, it, there'll be a long list, it comes down and there's about a hundred pages and there's lots of books that you can download free and courses that you can do, there's lots of material there and it looks like a, a big video fest on the front page but I've done that because I wanted you to introduce you to lots of good material straight away so there's lots of uh, good people who, who do Bible teaching on the first page but also there's uh, preaching that I've done on the top and some of the debates that I've done as well so I believe it's a good resource and I believe if you get into that website it will really edify you and it, it will really bless you uh, praise God and to his glory um, <clears throat> then you've got my Facebook Facebook I, I often put preachers on there that I like Twitter from time to time is more apologetics and uh, yeah so so those are some of the resources that that will I believe will really help you to grow in your faith and if you're inquiring about Christianity they will really help you um, today I'm making a video uh, to say that I'm retiring from speaker's corner um, I'm not going to go down there like I've done taking teams to to go and debate down there and uh, the reason why I'm retiring I think I feel for me that the door is closing or is closed because when we first started off we were able to get debates with some of the um, some of the uh, Dowating people but once they got to know us once they got to know that we do research they began to cut us off so now it's very very difficult to get a decent debate it's very difficult to get people who really want to have an open discussion and now it's descended there's a lot of things happened uh, in the year over the year where it's descended into people taking their issues from the internet and from their own personal life and they're taking it down into Hyde Park and and it's become more like a Jeremy Kyle show where people are just shouting at each other um, screaming at each other accusing each other and causing a whole like load of storms of drama and it doesn't look good and it's I think it's putting a lot of people off Hyde Park watching the videos at the moment and it's not something that I want to be associated with or want to get involved with and for every decent discussion that you would get you have to wade through three or four or five of these slanging screaming matches um, and it's not worth going I mean I, I had a discussion with a guy called Jedi and to be honest it was just a waste of time it was a complete waste of time because he wasn't have, wanting really a genuine conversation so I don't want to I spend when I go down to Hyde Park I, I do spend at least three days often a couple of weeks in, in terms of time researching the topic that I want to talk about so I'll, I'll spend maybe three full days studying the Gospels and the Quran and then I'll go down and I'll talk on on the Gospels or the topic that I want to talk about and I, and I would have spent three full days making notes but also I would have spent a couple of weeks in over the months in days researching as well and I go down with all that research and information and I find that people like Mansoor or people like that that, that they don't really want to engage in if they do engage, they they 
want to control the conversation where it means that you can't really get all the information that you've got out and really say what you want to say. So it makes it extremely difficult when they ignore you, extremely difficult when they decide to talk to you but they want to control the conversation. And then after all that you've got to get through a lot of these slanging matches where people are screaming, shouting, people are saying uh, things, drama things, causing drama um, and it's got really really bad even to the point where people have been violent, people have been banned from the park and to get through all that just to get a few nuggets of conversation where you're not even allowed to have a fair one-on-one -on -one discussion where it, it, it's very controlled where they control the narrative and the discussion I just think it's not worth it and it's just wasting my time. Um, so for me, I'm, I'm going to retire from going to Hyde Park and debating people. I, Brother Mike wants to go down um, in January and I might join him. I said I would, but I'm not too sure if I might, if I will. But if I do join him, it will only be in the background just to give him moral support. It's not I'll not be going to debate people, I'll not be going to engage with people. It'll be just going to say hello to the Christians and to back anybody I go with, but not for me to get involved because I've decided that at the moment Hyde Park has just become, it's just become a soap opera really of drama. And, and it's quite nasty drama where there's a lot of real nasty kind of characters that are, are gossiping about each other and bringing it to the park and sometimes it's been getting violent and I don't think it's fair on the police the police have got better things to do and I don't think it's fair on those who genuinely want to preach there genuinely want to discuss there and I think there's a, a small minority of people that are spoiling it for everybody else. Which is a shame because Hyde Park is, is a very precious institution. And I would love to maintain that institution, but I, I can't be getting involved with this kind of nonsense really. So, so I've really enjoyed my time at Hyde Park. I really love the place, I really appreciate the people. Uh, I've had some really uh, interesting debates and discussions. Uh, I love the Muslim people there. I love the Christian people there. Um, but I can't achieve much when I'm putting all the hours in and, and to study and that, that research is not being allowed to get out and, and discuss. And I don't want to be pushing myself or uh, trying to get attention to the Dawah team, if they don't, Dawah teams, if they don't want to discuss, then fine, let's leave it at that, so, uh, I'll be sad to leave, uh, I'm frustrated because uh, I do do a lot of research, I, I, I have a degree in theology, pastoral studies, it's a, it was a four year degree, I've studied at two, a, uh, two MA levels uh, in postmodern philosophy and Islam and other religions. So I've studied at MA level um, and I've been in academic theology meaning I've been in theological institutions for at least 10 maybe a, maybe a lot longer than that. So I have a vast experience in studying academically theology and other religions but Unfortunately, uh, the Dawa teams don't want to engage with that knowledge and they don't want to engage with that research. So, um, I got a phone call from a gentleman who um, is a friend of um, Shabir Ali. And Shabi Ali was to be coming to the UK, apparently. 
and the gentleman contacted me and, and said would you be interested in dialoguing with Shabi Ali now Shabi Ali is a, a well-known um, Muslim apologist he's, he's probably one of the best Muslim apologist around and, and I was not able to debate because I was going to Ghana now I'm not saying that I'm on uh, Shabi Ali's level he's, he's, he's debated many people he's a very professional pe person um, but I was I was sad that I wasn't able to dialogue with him um, so me and Mike have decided that we're going to be writing to uh, or sending emails to Muslim student councils around the UK at universities and uh, asking if they would like us to come and dialogue and debate and I'm happy uh, to debate uh, Adam Rashid, Mohammed Hijab, um, Mansour, Hamza. I'm happy to debate any of these people or any Muslim apologist who gets in contact with me on three, three areas. Is the Bible or the Quran the Word of God? Did Jesus rise from the dead? And the Trinity. I'm happy to debate these three topics. Uh, I'm happy to do it on the basis that it's done in a setting where it's fair and it's professional. All my debating career with the atheist and with the Muslims, I've always been in debate and discussion with one arm tied behind my back. I very, very, very rarely have been in a debate with Muslim apologists and atheist apologists where I'm allowed to have equal say with them. The atheists and the, the Muslims have always made sure that they have one hand, one hand of mine tied behind my back. In other words, they've controlled the situation so that I can't say what I wanted to say. For example, when I debated Aquil, a Muslim apologist, at the end of that debate there were uh, two uh, other Muslim apologists ready at the end of the debate to ask questions which made it I was debating three people. That's just one example of where they put one hand tied behind my back. Another example is I debated with Mike uh, Mansour and Abbas and they wouldn't allow me to say equally in that discussion they always kept control of that conversation so for me I'm out of the scene of Hyde Park I will not be coming into debate in the UK um, unless I'm invited, unless student bodies invite me, unless Shabi Ali or Hamza or uh, Mohammed Hijab or some Muslim apologies invites me and that the debate setting is done in a professional way in a, in a church or in a mosque or in a hall where it, 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 the it's agreed to the setting and people conduct themselves in a professional and fair way and at the end of it that we're friends and, and that we build friendships with each other and it's done in a, in a fair amicable way then I'm always open to any Muslim apologist or any atheist apologist uh, to debate uh, in the UK barring that uh, for me I spend so many hours uh, researching, so many hours studying. I've done that with atheism. I've written a book on atheism. I've not had any real response from the atheist community. The book that I wrote uh, demolishes atheism. Uh, it was written on Sam Harris. I've not had any comeback from that. I've written a number of other books on Islam. 
I've not had any comeback from Muslim apologists. Basically, uh, my work's ignored, and that's okay. But I'm not going to force myself on people. If people don't want to dialogue and discuss, don't want to engage with my scholarship, don't want to engage with uh, my work, then then that's okay. But so, for, as far as I'm concerned, my my career in terms of debating in the UK, in terms of Hyde Park, I think it's over. Um, unless there are invitations, and those invitations are genuine and people conduct themselves in a professional and proper way. So I'm open to any suggestions from Hamza, Muhammad Hijab, um, Shabi Ali, any Muslim apologist, any atheist apologist, um, any student body that wants me to come to any university uh, in the UK to dialogue with any professor or lecturer on either atheism or Islam I'm happy to do that uh, but I'm going to Ghana God willing uh, in eight uh, in six months time uh, so if anybody does want me to debate um, you will have to get in touch with me and, and organize it before then because I, I I'll be busy uh, running a theological seminary and Bible college uh, so I won't have the time but I want to thank everybody at Hyde Park I had, a, I had a, an amazing career there it was only short a year and a half uh, I really enjoyed it there's a number of videos on soccer films there's a number of videos on content for, content for everything and a few other videos knocking about. Some of them are very entertaining, some of them are informative, and some of them are, are, are interesting. So find those videos, and I hope that you enjoy them. I want to thank everybody for the support that they gave me, the people that came down to help me uh, to do Royal Blood Ministries in Hyde Park. I want to thank the Christians there that gave a lot of support, uh, especially DCCI, and especially Sokol Films, who gave uh, a lot of support when I was down there. I want to thank all the people that came down with me, Kieran, Mike, and others, uh, the Welsh guys and other guys that people that came down with me to give me support at Hyde Park. I couldn't have done that without you. And I want to thank um, the Muslim community for putting up with me at Hyde Park. And uh, thank you for uh, the opportunity to be with you and to talk and to have the fun and, and the dialogue and the discussion that we had. Uh, I really love you people and I really appreciate uh, that you that you never shut me down. Ultimately, you did let me come to Hyde Park. You did let me uh, do my stuff. Even though you wouldn't engage with me, your Dawah teams wouldn't engage with me properly. Um, but as a Muslim community as a whole, uh, you allowed me to do my stuff at Hyde Park. So I appreciate that and I thank you for that. And uh, I just wish everybody the best. I wish DCCI the best. I wish Bob the Builder and Soccer Films. I'm going to get. I'm going to shed a tear in a minute. I'm going to. I, I wish Soccer Films the best. I wish um, Bob the Builder, DCCI, and a number of the street preachers there that are preaching, uh, that go there faithfully every week. I want to wish you the best. And uh, that's all I have to say, really. Um, in Haggai chapter 1, it talks about Zerubbabel, and he says, I'm with you. The Lord says he's with you. And I just want to say that those who are going down to Hyde Park who feel still the calling to go, then I wish you all the best and I'll be praying for you. And I hope that shortly this wave of uh, 
emotional nonsense that's going on at Hyde Park. I hope that it dies down and people can get on with the rational discussion and debate that and, and preaching that Hyde Park was has been and is famous for. Okay, God bless you and love to everybody. God bless.